And now I will give the floor to His Excellency Dr. Mathieu Opoku Prempe, Minister of Education of Ghana. Your Excellency, you have the floor. President of the General Conference, Chairman of the Executive Board, Director General of UNESCO, Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. The Ghana delegation joins previous speakers to congratulate you, Madam, on your election as President of the 39th General Conference of UNESCO. We wish you a successful tenure of office and assure you of our support. Madam President, Ghana commends UNESCO for being at the forefront of multilateral efforts to achieve the SDG goals in particular SDG 4, Education 2030 Agenda, which our organization has been entrusted with to lead and coordinate. In Ghana, the government of the President, Nana Adodan Kwekufado, has rolled out its flagship free senior high school policy within nine months of assuming office that responds to SDG 4.1. This ambitious policy includes removal of cost barriers, expansion of educational infrastructure, improvement in equity and quality. Overnight, we have moved access from a historical 65 to 70 percent to 94 percent this year, giving access to nearly 100,000 more students. We have started tackling stresses associated with this, and we call upon our development partners and the wider UNESCO community for the needed support. Additionally, we are embarking upon reform of teacher education and training, leading to a new bachelor's degree. We are reforming basic school curricula to focus on the fundamentals of reading, arithmetic, writing, and creativity, and including history as a course. We are transforming and realigning all technical and vocational institutions under the Ministry of Education to foster effective regulation, standardization, and certification. We are reforming tertiary education to make it more accessible and affordable and more relevant to the world of work. These, we believe, will harness the transformative power of education to create a society of opportunities for the empowerment of all Ghanaian youth. Madam President, Ghana salutes UNESCO for its comprehensive interdisciplinary approaches to towards climate change through the network of biosphere reserves, world heritage sites, as well as the geoscience program. We endorse the climate change strategy and efforts towards the development of ethical principles in relation to climate change to guide human activities that impact the climate. UNESCO's climate change strategy is anchored on the fundamentals of basic sciences, and therefore, if the strategy is to have the desired impact on Africa and small island developing states, then we need to scale up and strengthen the basic sciences program as we roll out the 39C5. Ghana, having led the International Celebration of Light based science in 2015, supports the call for purposeful collaboration between the basic and applied sciences in order to achieve the target set in UNESCO's strategy on climate change. Madam President, Ghana applauds UNESCO's advocacy role in promoting culture and diversity of cultural expressions through the organization's normative instruments. UNESCO is widely credited with focusing international attention on the strong link between culture and development and continue to promote actions including research in this area. A survey in Ghana on the economic impact of indigenous Ghanaian industries conducted by UNESCO, the culture and creative sectors are indeed a great asset with potential to create enormous wealth and jobs in the Ghanaian economy. In consequence, the Parliament of Ghana has ratified seven UNESCO conventions, cultural conventions, thus paving the way for country to fully engage with these instruments and leverage these linkages for socioeconomic development. Allow me, Madam President, to mention that Ghana's continued exploration of oil has necessitated the urgent need for UNESCO's assistance in safeguarding and protecting our territorial underwater cultural heritage through the implementation of the 2001 Convention. Ghana, therefore, seeks UNESCO's expertise to help us build our institutional capacity in this important area. Madam President, UNESCO and Africa Union have made good progress at promoting the second phase of the pedagogical use of general history of Africa. The government of Ghana is fully committed to this project, which is in line with this objective of reinvigorating the teaching of history 
in our schools and Africa as a whole. By this, we'll be promoting our common heritage and fostering mutual understanding, regional integration, and peace on the continent. Madam President, Ghana endorses UNESCO's effort of building a free, independent, and pluralistic media, and in particular, the legal framework. In this light, the Ghana of government is pleased to hold the 2018 edition of UNESCO World Press Freedom Day on the 3rd and 4th of May, 2018 in Accra. We look forward to welcoming you all to enjoy the legendary Ghanaian hospitality. Finally, Madam President, the government of Ghana would like to thank Madam Irina Bokova for her great service to this organization and to Africa in particular. We wish her well in her future endeavors. To the incoming Director General, Madam Azule, we welcome you and wish you success. We believe you will uphold the tenets of UNESCO by striving to bring back member states that have indicated withdrawal from the organization. You will work to promote the universality of UNESCO. I thank you for your attention. Thank you, Minister.